how installing Google apps on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro works and will you be able to trust Huawei after getting all the information. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Huawei's Mate 30 Pro and the process of installing Google Apps on that specific device because Huawei has been banned from doing business with Google by the United States government. Now, all of this content is based on an article by John Wu. I have linked that article in the description of this video and I have also mentioned it as a pinned comment on this video in case you want to read it. So before we get into the details of how Huawei is letting you install Google Apps on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro, we first need to understand a few things and for that we'll have a look at this diagram which I created. So you need an Android device with a locked bootloader. That is the basic prerequisite for all of what we're going to talk in this video because once you unlock the bootloader, a lot of things which I say change or are not true anymore. So on a typical Android device, you have many partitions, but the ones which we are concerned about and the ones which will make our lives easier in understanding all of this are just two basic partitions, data and system. System can include or it points to other partitions as well, but as I mentioned earlier, just to make it simpler and easier to understand, let's just assume you have two partitions, data and system. Data is also known as the user data partition. It is read write. What does that mean? That means that any apps which you install from the Google Play Store, for example, if you install a third party keyboard or you install a third party camera application or say you install Instagram, that is installed to this data partition. Any pictures you take, any photographs you take, any videos you take are also stored in the data partition. When you factory reset your device, this is the partition which is wiped out. Then we have a system partition. This is where all the applications which are pre-installed by the OEM or the manufacturer reside. This partition is read only and it is signed with a specific key. This signing of the system partition with a specific key is very important. Do note this key is private. It's not public. Nobody knows it. In fact, the normal users like you and me should not even know that key. Why? Because if we know that key, we can sign our applications with that key and then create havoc or hack into the system partition. So this key is unique and it is only known to OEMs and Google. Let us now talk about the process of getting an OTA update. When you get an OTA update, this OTA update is applied to the system partition. But a prerequisite here is that this OTA update also needs to be signed. And these signatures over here and here should match. They should be the same. If they are different, then the OTA update will not be applied to the system partition. Now you have devices in China which are sold without Google Apps installed. When we over here in the States buy those devices or say someone from China is going out or say he's moving to the United States or anywhere out of China, and they want to install Google Apps, all they do is they download a Google Apps installer which installs Google Apps on their device. How does that work? So a very basic prerequisite for that is you have something called GMS stubs. These GMS stubs reside in the system partition. If they exist, only then will these GApp installer APKs or utilities which people create will work. If these GMS stubs do not exist, then these existing GApp installer APKs will not work. If you want to dive more into detail, here is how it works. So all this GApp installer APK is doing when you install it, it is installed over here, right? And then you have an app showing up over here. You launch that app and what that app is basically doing is it is downloading a few APKs from the internet, which would be your Google Play Store and the other APKs which are needed for Google Play Store to work correctly. These files are downloaded and then they are applied to these stubs. 
this gapp installer apk need not be signed it doesn't have to be signed with this key these keys are not matched why because all this app is doing is downloading a few apks and updating them over here moving over to the huawei mate 30 pro again lock bootloader similar setup and you have a read write data partition and a read only system partition which is signed by huawei what is missing here what is missing here is the gms stub so your any other third party g app installer apk which you download from the internet won't work on this huawei mate 30 pro so those g app installer apks which work on other chinese devices like say xiaomi mizu oppo they won't work on the huawei mate 30 pro and that is because the gms stubs are missing so we'll write down gms stubs and say they do not exist now in a typical scenario let's say tomorrow down the line the united states government comes back and says all right huawei you're free to do business with google how would huawei handle that scenario then right all they have to do then is create an ota and then sign this guy make sure these signatures match and then you can have your play services installed over here this is a normal scenario but for that huawei has to wait right in the current scenario you can install google services or google apps on the huawei mate 30 pro using this application called lz play now we've already discussed that all other available g app installer apks won't work on the huawei mate 30 pro right because the gms stubs don't exist then how is this lz play application working so when you install it it is again installed in the data partition and you have an app over here and then this application is installing the google play services the basic requirement for google play installer apks or google services or google app installer applications is for gms stub to exist they don't exist in this case so what's happening over here is that this app has two special permissions which let it install the google play services in the system partition and that is where it's not correct why because for any app to install the google play services or anything on the system partition this guy needs to be signed and this signature needs to match this signature which is on the system partition so we did mention earlier that this signature is unique not available publicly only known to google and the oem in this case huawei so the first thing here is that this lz play application is signed with huawei's signature which is why it is able to install applications in the system partition second thing it has two special permissions which are not part of huawei's mdm or mobile device management suit which they sell to enterprises so these two permissions are not documented anywhere and this is a typical example of a backdoor and that is the concern here huawei has created a backdoor for their own system just so that they can let users install google play services on the huawei mate 30 pro and that is what john Wu and other security researchers are concerned about it's a smart move this is a workaround for the ban but is this ethical no it's not ethical do i trust huawei after knowing all this no i don't trust huawei after knowing all this you're banned you should go by the book you should go by the law you've created a backdoor for your own device will i buy a huawei device in the future personally i never owned one i always liked their devices but now even if they create the best device i will never buy a huawei device as for you that is a decision which you need to make but these here are all the facts which john Wu came up with and remember this guy is the developer of magisk it's not some mickey mouse theory which he came up with this is serious stuff so with all the facts in front of you it's for you to decide whether you trust huawei or not that will do it for this video peeps i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you